Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayam, and welcome back to the channel. Right? Today we gonna solve this beautiful, beautiful problem. Count the number of computer unlocking permutations. And trust me, guys. After seeing the solution, you will be like Sayam. This is the question. Uh, is lead code playing with us? Why? Why we are not able to solve such a simple problem? Sayam, simple. What you are saying? This is. See, have you seen the length of this question? We always judge the question difficulty by the length. So much, so many, so much description is there. After reading only, we and after seeing the acceptance rate, oh, only thirty-eight percent. Ah, we cannot solve this problem. It is a very difficult problem. Leave this, and we'll see the solution directly. If you have thought about it, you will we will regret it. It is literally one of the simplest problems ever. Not sure about it. Let's get started then. If you are new to the channel, make sure you to subscribe to the channel because we make awesome content around video, ESA Tech and AI, right? Okay. Question to read. Kalle. Pura to karna padega. We are given an array complexity of length n. Okay. Is bar names nahi rakha. There are n n logged computers in a room with labels zero to n minus one, each with its own unique password. Okay. Everyone has a unique password. Makes sense. The password for the computer I has complexity I. Complexity determines like okay how much complex it is to open that computer because there's no password if you don't have the password. The password for the computer labeled zero is already unlocked. Very 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 important. It's not talking about the permutation zero. It is talking about the index at zero. So zero computer, the password is already unlocked. Okay, all other com. Computer must be unlocked using it or another previously unlocked computer. Following the this information, perfectly fine. What is the logic? We can open a computer. You can decrypt the password for the computer I using the password for computer J. Only when if it is ever lower complexity, if it is a lower complexity, and what you can say that uh that it's already a lower complexity that okay you want to open a J com. Jth complexity uh, computer, there should be a, another computer I, which has a lesser complexity than J, and it should be already unlocked. It should be already unlocked. Okay, so I will summarize these both the condition in one go itself. What the these two condition are saying? Let's say your computer. Let's say this is a three computer complexity three. This is a complexity four. You can open this computer, yes, because there. If I'm assuming this is open, this is already open. This should be open, and this computer should have higher complexity than this. You cannot open like this. Let's say this is four. Let's say this is four. Let's say this is three. This have a lower complexity than this. Firstly, you have to open this. You cannot open this. You cannot open this with the help of this. I hope you are getting it because it has a larger complexity. Cool. Find the number of permutations that represent a valid order in which the com computers can be unlocked, starting from the computer zero as the only initially unlocked computer. Since the answer may be very large, ten power minus seven, very very important. They already mentioned that the password for the computer with label zero is unlocked, not the computer with the first position in the permutation. That means they are not saying one is unlocked. No 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 no. They are saying, let's say the permutation is initially given as three to one. This is being unlocked. That is they are trying to say, right? And yeah, with that note, let's try to understand the concept of this. So is like this kind of input will be given with one, two, three, and the output is two. How? Let's say one, two, three is there. One is on. This is already unlocked. I have to unlock this. Can I unlock this? This is the only way. Firstly, I have to unlock this. Yes. So firstly, unlock zero, then unlock one. Can I unlock this? Yes, I can unlock. I can unlock this because this is also smaller. Using this also or using this also, so I can unlock. Right. There is another way. Can I unlock? Firstly, the zero will be always zero will be fixed. This will be always unlocked like this. Now, can I unlock three before two? Ah, uh, definitely I can because one is smaller than three, so I can unlock two first, and then can I unlock one? Yes, you can unlock one also. These are the two possible ways you can unlock 
all the computer very very important you have to unlock all the computer that is a prime requirement right and in this example if you try to think about it 334 that 333444 this is already unlocked can i unlock this mm, i cannot see the complexity is not higher than this that is the problem that is the problem the complexity could be higher right if it is not higher we cannot unlock this I hope you're getting it right. So we cannot unlock this. After seeing this, many people may get very, very complex ideas. But before that, let's try to go step by step and try to check the complexity which we desire. Okay. We after seeing the constraint, the constraint says, oh, 10 power 5. So we have to solve this o, o of n. We have to solve in this time complexity. Perfectly fine. This is again a sad moment. But we cannot do much about it. Let's try to think now what we can think about. Many people may think uh, like me. Oh, for unlocking this, I can count how many are smaller components are there. Smaller complexity components. And then we can do something about it. This may be an order. But this as an issue. Because if you try to think about like this, now this computer depends on this right so if you don't open this only then how will we calculate the complexity about that see it is not equivalent to saying the number of ways of cal uh, opening each computer products right maybe people can think of the total number of commutation of uh, opening all the uh, all the computers is equivalent to num multiplying all pi means multiply all computers and opening their individual their individual uh, combinations clearly this is a combinator rix problem so this is not equal to this like it's not that independently how many ways you can open each computer because it depends on the previous computer also right so absolutely fine okay let's try to observe very very interesting thing about this when we are trying to solve these examples we observe one important thing. See, tell me one thing uh, that do you know that we have to open all the computers? Same what you are talking about. Obviously, we know that. Chha. Tell me one thing that when you are opening the first computer, how can you open the first computer? Uh, we can open the first computer only when the complexity of the first computer, that means I am talking about the zero base indexing, should be greater than complexity of zero. Only then I can open that. Uh, definitely, definitely you are correct. How now, let's say how you can open the second computer. Uh, Sayam, I can open the second computer only when if the complexity of two is greater than complexity of one, complexity of one or complexity, it should be greater than complexity of zero. Am I correct? You're absolutely correct. Similarly, if we and if this is greater than this, can you tell me one more thing which I can tell? Uh, same. If it is greater than complexity of one, that definitely implies this. Can you say that? Uh, yes. That means to unlock this computer, this condition must hold. Must hold. Must hold. Very very important. Yes. And can I generalize this idea that each computer complexity should be should be greater than complexity of zeroth computer? Can I say this statement? Try to think about see. Because if I go again and again and see for the, let's say for third computer, I need to open the third computer means technically fourth, but zero, one, two, three, third, one, third index. So it should be either greater than computer complexity two or complexity one or complexity zero. One implies zero, two also implies one, one implies zero. Again, that means in the chronological order, this statement will always. Can I say that? Definitely you can say that. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means all the computer opening depends only on 
the zeroth computer if any computer complexity is less than or equal to also complexity of zero can i say that i have zero ways of opening all computers definitely because at any moment any computer does not hold this condition this i cannot open that computer anyhow because if i cannot open uh, using zeroth computer i cannot open with any other computer also we already made this here right because zero if one implies zero two implies one so one implies zero okay so two implies zero again it's a transitive relation two implies one one implies zero it's a transitive relation right zero ways otherwise how many ways are there if if it is hold for everyone does it depends on other computers no not at all not at all means you can open any computer with just the help of the zeroth computer right you are absolutely right about it that means what after zero you can open like this computer in how many ways only one computer is behind this only one way okay this computer how many ways two ways two why see try to understand that that now since you have many choice it's just a factorial it's like n minus 1 factorial ways why you are saying that see every computer every ith computer ith computer can be open can be open can be open with zeroth computer zeroth computer and that's all so it does not depends how many computers are unlocked previously it does not depend how many computers are unlocked previously that means after zero any computer can come we can unlock any computer if there are n com n n variables to n minus 1 or you can say then here n minus 2 into n minus 3 and so on till 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 this position there is n minus possible one possibilities either any computer can come whatever remaining n minus 1 are remaining computers are there that here n minus 2 and just go on because they are all independent you can put any computer because every computer can be unlocked with the help of this computer that does not depend on these computers and that is the idea final answer is this n minus 1 factorial we just need to care about one thing that uh while taking you just take the mod uh, don't forget that don't forget and always take long long that is the idea you can get a runtime error so don't forget to take long long otherwise this question is very very simple i hope you understood it completely let me just quickly show you one the uh, solution and i hope you will understand it very easily cool so it's nothing just complexity of size and then we just the answer equals to 1 and cons mod equals to this if any point of time complexity of i is less than equals to complexity of 0 that will straight away return 0 there is no possible ways otherwise you can do answer equals to answer into i it's just calculating the n minus 1 factorial just taking the mod take one long long because we can go up to outside the integer range we should take always one long long with multiplication take answer in long long and then finally return the answer we are taking the mod so it's isn't it very simple yes it is but yeah sometimes some lengthy questions feel very trivial i hope you love, love the solution if you love the solution make sure you to like the but video and subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the next video then till then keep learning goodbye